What's up, GMAU? Um, my name is Nick Vasallo. I am the creator and head instructor of the Muay Thai program at Global Martial Arts University. So uh, a little bit about me. Um, I live in Danville, California. I was born in California, uh, moved all around the Bay Area. I also teach music. I'm a professor at Diablo Valley College. That's in Pleasant Hill, California. Um, I'm the director of music energy studies, which is basically music technology, how to create music on the computer and uh, how to write music and how to make money with music. Um, so my martial arts journey started when I was in college, actually at DVC uh, in 2003. Um, I started with Aikido and um, I think Aikido was really good at teaching me just uh, shifting weight um, moving one energy to the other and uh, wrist locks and uh, I kind of wanted more impact like striking so then after Aikido uh, I tried karate um, and then I tried Taekwondo I was kind of like surfing around and this is at the uh, Cal State uh, Hayward which is now called Cal State East Bay and uh, yeah I, I was um, I was uh, focused on Taekwondo for a while really like the kicks but I really just wanted to uh, to uh, punch and you know and, and hit stuff so uh, I got into uh, boxing and kickboxing um, the rest of my time at Cal State East Bay uh, got myself a heavy bag at home and a speed bag and was training at home training at the university uh, doing some sparring and um, I was really happy uh, but then I got injured so my, my career back then besides finishing my degree uh, music composition was writing music for uh, for TV and movies and uh, that's a really hard job you have to deliver a lot of music each week and I was um, writing music for a TV show called Iron Kid and I'd be at my computer station all day every day and wasn't training enough and then uh, lo and behold uh, I got a herniated disc injured myself while training it got worse and then I was just putting on my pants one day and collapsed and uh, I wasn't able to do much for a long time. I had to lie down and work, lie down and do a lot of things. Um, and uh, yeah, was uh, that was the end of my martial arts career for a while. Um, and then I got back into it uh, five years later when I was um, finishing my doctorate. You know, I kind of missed, but I was still studying martial arts, just wasn't practicing. And uh, I got into jiu-jitsu at Half Gracie in Dublin, California. And um, that was really fun. It got in really good shape really quickly. Um, I miss grappling a lot too. Uh, and um, yeah, and then once again, uh, something happened. Basically had my first child and got a new job down south, SoCal. So I had to quit jiu-jitsu, move down to SoCal. And um, eventually found a job back up here, which is what I have right now in the Bay Area. Um, uh, being a professor and director uh, Dabble Valley College and um, I started training again at Danville Jiu-Jitsu wrestling and kickboxing and fell in love with the the art again um, I felt balanced I felt that was that thing I was missing you know I was kind of replacing it with music and composing and all that stuff uh, that started taking a lot of time out of my life and my family and I noticed that practicing martial arts was um, super healthy both physically and mentally and I felt balanced again and I was able to, you know, spend more time with my family um, and still get that outlet. So then I got back into yeah, jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai. So I, I was doing kickboxing and striking before, but Muay Thai was a little different. And um, I started studying with Stephanie Moon and uh, she taught, she owns Danville Jiu-Jitsu Wrestling and Kickboxing. And I started studying with one of her teachers too, George Tutsui who uh, owns Combat Fitness and Concord. Um, he's a Muay Thai champion. And yeah, I was doing a lot of private lessons, um, sparring nonstop. And eventually, um, Stephanie asked me to teach at Danville Jiu-Jitsu. And I've been teaching Muay Thai there for several years now. And um, you know, I'm really, really honored to be able to train there and teach, I love it. Uh, teaching is really my, my passion. I love showing people um, uh, things that I know and things that I, um, think I can help them with and I love learning I think all the good teachers need to be constantly learning so I have an open mind 
um, there's things that my students in both music and martial arts show me and uh, you know you absorb what's useful and um, carry it with you so uh, yeah that's my martial arts career um, let me see the next question next question is oh yeah so yeah, I also teach Muay Thai so let me go over that how's so yeah I teach Muay Thai um, in person private privately and uh, at Danville Jiu Jitsu um, it's different in person of course because you know there's an energy when you're in the same room with people I think it's the same right now we're going through the COVID-19 um, epidemic and all these teachers in higher education and all across K K-12 and everywhere have to migrate their in-person classes online and it's a challenge because you don't have that instantaneous um, you know emotional cognitive reaction that you have live with students uh, I've been lucky enough to be teaching online and created some online programs already so global martial arts uh, the Muay Thai online program kind of comes natural to me um, I've already kind of made my programs uh, some of my classes at DVC hybrid or fully online so it's different in that you are trying to um, move at a rate that I mean if you're in person you 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 move at a rate that is understandable and you kind of have to go with the flow of uh, the majority and even if there's a student that's lagging behind we don't leave anyone behind face to face but when you teach online and when you have something that's fixed a student can go back again and again like almost like pause time rewind time fast forward time it's a time machine right and um, these videos or just having online teaching uh, allows the teacher actually to focus on working directly with the students one-on-one -on -one, as opposed to kind of grabbing and, 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 and hurting everyone and making sure no one falls behind because it's fixed the media is fixed the techniques are fixed um, if a student has issues I can work with those specific issues so I think that's one of the advantages on both ends you know um, I love teaching in person I like teaching online too so they both have their pros and cons. So the curriculum at Muay Thai, um, GMAU Muay Thai, is tiered, right? It's, it's in different levels. So I start off, or you will start off with the most basic level zero, which are just straight strikes and footwork, which are the fundamentals, right? If you ever had to defend yourself knowing how to move, right, and how to how to do uh, how to strike in straight lines is the most efficient if you are proficient in mastering level zero um, there's a lot of things that you can do in real in a real application uh, how to defend yourself and then you move up level one level two all the way to level six and the techniques get much more advanced longer uh, we build I like to think of the advanced techniques as building upon the initial or earlier levels so much much like in football uh, when you have a, you, you you have a level one um, uh, what do you call it? formation right if you have a running formation you can build on that and you can use use that for the defense to react a certain way so that's the same thing as a straight strike or a, a teep or something once you establish that first level then you can establish something secondary and then third level fourth level etc to build on more advanced techniques so that's how it is and you can you can rank up so to test, you have to show mastery of the level. And in my class, and I think in a lot of classes on GMAU, we make sure that each student has a perfect exam. So these are 10 out of 10, A plus perfection. Because that, that's what training is for. It's much like preparing for a musical performance. You have to rehearse every day. You sit there, play the same chords over and over again until you can do it in your sleep. And then you perform and that's the night of the concert and has to be perfect the same thing goes for a martial arts exam or a fight you train you train you train you prepare you mentally prepare you physically prepare and then when it's time to execute you execute and it has to be perfect so that's what it's like to rank up and to test to excel um, in the different levels of muay thai last let's see what is the long-term vision so my long-term vision is a lot like just the general vision I had for the program. Um, I like 
the concept of being able to reach a lot of people that I wouldn't be able to reach, you know, in person. These are people that don't have access to a gym or maybe their work schedule prevents them from studying or maybe they don't have anyone in the area that knows Muay Thai. And maybe they don't want to just watch YouTube videos. They want that personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, focus and treatment. Um, and I think if I had a nice, cohesive kind of school that really feels like everyone's, and it's starting to feel like that. Right now I have almost 90 students and it's been less than a month of this program being opening, which, which is great. Um, and it already feels like all my students are comrades. You know, the message board is really cool, seeing them interact and support each other, um, high-fiving each other. And, uh, you know, even though it's all through the internet, they're a cyber group. And we all have one common goal, that is to learn, that is to get better and improve. Everyone might have different goals, why they want to learn Muay Thai, but the goal is the same. We all want to get better. We all want to help each other. And I want to make sure I'm there to help all the students. Uh, as far as any additional thoughts, I'm just really honored that I get to teach what I love, which are music and martial arts. And I hope that it can help a whole generation of people. And, you know, recently I had to give a speech at uh, UC Santa Cruz and they asked me what or how... Um, graduate school affected what I do now and I think that in graduate school I was allowed to just grow and be who I was and I think we all take pieces of our teachers with us no matter what it is right music or martial arts or math but I have a lot of my teachers inside me and I carry the parts that resonated with me the most and I look forward into you carrying on whatever I teach you perhaps you can teach others and teach your kids and inspire others. So I think that's what I want to leave um, here in this program. It's something that you can carry with you. All right, thanks.